Welcome to Top Salad. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple different ways of preparing engraving. Let's get started. Here you can see my very complex example. In fact, I'm going to show you three types of engraving. I'm going to show you simple planar engraving. Then I'm going to show you how to prepare engraving along a profile. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to do engraving along a three-dimensional face. So to begin with, I'm going to look at a plan view, and I'm going to start by doing my simple planar engraving. So I'll go Tools, Text, and let's see if I can make a message as well. I'll say, oops, let me back up here. I'll say Buying Top Salad. We'll hit Enter. Here you can play with your font, the orientation, the height. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to Shape, and we'll go ahead and do a pocket. Why not? I'll select this face, that text, and here I'm going to set my depth to be 30 thousandths. And like that, we've now just engraved. Perfect. Let's maybe take another sample. Now I'm going to go make a profile. And in this case, I'm going to use a spline just to be different. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and go Tools, Text again. This time we'll hit the double arrow right here for more. We'll say text on a curve. We'll choose our support curve. And we'll type our text. It's likely the best decision. And here you can see you can move this along that three dimensional, or pardon me, the two dimensional spline there. So we'll get it positioned where we want it. I'll left click. And now we're going to add another operation. This time we'll do a boss. Why not? that face, that text, and again we'll go 30 thousandths just to have some text. So now you can see the raised text and the sunken text. And finally, and by the way the curve can be a line, a spline, or an arc. And finally we'll create our text here. Okay, So let's go create our text. And this will take a few extra steps. So I'm going to say text, and let's see. we'll say that you can make. And we'll locate that, oh why not, right there. Now before I can do anything with this in 3D, I first have to convert this to curves. So that's what we're going to do first. We'll go to the curve pull down menu, and I believe to manage, and we're going to do convert text. And we'll select this, and that converts it to outlined curves. This is still down there, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this text and imprint it on this face here. Okay? So we'll go to Surfacing, and I'm going to choose Imprint. I'm going to choose my shape to modify. Now it wants the curves or edges to imprint. I'm going to choose all of these curves. Okay? So to do that, I'm just going to Window Select, holding my left button. I'll say Z Positive and we want to take that face into consideration. We'll say OK. Now what we've done by imprinting is we've divided this face into multiple faces and now we can either extrude or subtract this text. Here's how. We have another extrusion function in here. It's right here. This is a surfacing extrusion function. It's a surfacing function but it's meant to be applied to a solid. So we'll choose the faces that we want to modify and here I'm just going to be different. I'm going to show you that you can do this both ways. So I'm going to go with every other word to start with. And I'm going to say Z positive, and I'll say, how about for that 30 thousandths. And now I'm still in the function, so I'm going to go here and select these faces. Looks like I have an error on my M, so I'll have to go and correct that. But you'll get the idea here if I say Z minus and 0.03. Now it did it as pocketing. What I'm going to do, in fact, is I'm going to go ahead and modify my imprint because I think, uh, let's see. I don't know if I need to do that, but we'll find out. There we go. Now we'll go back to shape, surfacic, extrude. We'll go ahead and extrude this one, Z minus, that 30 thousandths again. 
So hopefully this shows you a couple of different ways that you can create your engraving, whether it's simple 2D pocketing or boss, or along on a three-dimensional face, you can see you can do it as pocketing and as boss, and as well that extrusion maintains the curvature as well, so you have true 3D engraving. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful, and hopefully you get the hint in my secret message here.